Morning guys, it's Ben here from BeFit. It's Sunday morning. Um, and yeah, I just thought I'd record this quick little video because a few people have emailed in, excuse me, a few people, shut up. A few people have emailed in and have asked um, about about food prep for the week. Um, and you know, should you do it? What, you know, what sorts of, sorts of things should you, you know, prepare? Um, first thing is that I, I mean, I don't, I mean, I do food prep, but I don't prep for the for the whole week. One because it's it's a ball ache for, um, for more than anything. It takes ages if you're going to prepare seven days worth of meals. Also, unless you're freezing it, um, you know things like you can so you can mass uh, mass uh, mass cook like things like chilies, soups, stews, that sort of stuff. And unless you're freezing it. The, the food's just going to be bad within a couple of days anyway. So, I mean, what I would recommend and what I do is I um, prep for, you know, a couple of days in advance, two or, two or three days in advance, and just do that, excuse me, um, every few days. Um, things like, well, I'll show you. I mean, I've got a slow roast gammon going on um, this morning. It is, that's just, uh, what is this, a kilo, kilo of gammon, I think it is in there. Um, just with you know, just some potatoes, onions, uh, a few herbs, and that sort of thing, and that'll cook away for six hours, and it's absolutely beautiful, and that'll keep me going for you know a good three, maybe four days. Um, I don't always have gammon because it's quite fatty meat, so um, I mean, to be honest, I just love the way it tastes. So, but you can do anything in there, really. You can, do, you can slow cook a load of chicken breasts, or even I've got some chicken in chicken breasts in the fridge, so. What I'll probably do uh, later on today, after I've come back from the gym, is cook up a load of chicken breasts as well, and they'll happily sit in the fridge, just you know, just chilling away for a few days, and they'll be fine. Um, things, or other things you can do is uh, chop up a load of veg. Um, you know, so you've always got fresh veg and uh, ready to go in uh, in the fridge. I'll do that. F I'll, I'll actually do that every uh, every evening for the next day. Um, you know, it doesn't take too long when I get home um, after the gym in the evenings. First thing I'll do uh, before I shower is, you know, chop up a load of veg ready for the next day. Um, just, you know, it's just a routine I've got into, just the way I like doing things. Um, and yeah, so don't prep too much in advance um, unless you're going to freeze it. And unless you've got the patience to sit in your kitchen or stand in your kitchen all, all Sunday. Um, I mean, there's plenty of other things I could be, or plenty more, plenty more other, more pleasurable things I could be doing on a Sunday afternoon. Like, what am I doing today? I'm going to the gym after I finish my coffee, um, and then I'm going to be coming back, and I'm going to be, what am I going to be doing? I've got, I've got some stuff to do in the in the vegetable patch because I grow my own veg as well, so I've got to turn that. Over. I should have done that already, really, uh, but I've got to turn that over, ready for the new stuff going in. Um, what else am I doing today? It's probably a football match on some somewhere, so I'll be watching that possibly uh, while I'm doing some work and you know getting my diary and everything together ready for the week ahead. Oh wow, that is an intense spot coming up. Wow, that's amazing. Anyway, sorry about. That. Um, yeah, so really that's that's it. It was just a quick video on food prep because people have been asking about it. Um, yeah, don't prep too far in advance. Uh, obviously, cook up things that you like. Um, oh, that's one other thing actually, um, never eat something you don't like just because someone's told you it's good for you, I mean, there's just, I mean, kale is good for you, but there's this whole sort of like kale craze going on at the moment, everyone's, you know, eating it like it's going out of business, but no one likes it, I mean, everyone I speak to about it, they just, they hate it, they say, oh no, I hate it, but it's good for me, well, don't eat it then, there's other, plenty of other things that you could be eating that are good for you, I mean, I'm not a massive fan of kale, so I don't eat it. I have spinach in my smoothies and you know salads and stuff instead. So yeah, don't eat anything you don't like just because someone's told you it's good for you. Because there's always something just as good for you that you will like. Um, yeah, really, that was it. Um, so I am off to the gym now. Um, what is the time? Yeah, I'm gonna be off to the gym in a, in a few minutes. Just finishing my coffee off. Um, then I'm gonna get down there, come back. And yeah, enjoy the rest of my weekend. Hope you guys are too, and I will speak to you all soon. Cheers then, bye now.